Hey, it's Keith here, KD's Garage. I'm in the Bolt, maybe for the last time. Um, I leased this thing for three years. The lease is up in four months. <clears throat> the lease is up in four months. Uh, I'm almost at 30,000 miles. I'm at 29,077, right? Uh, if I go over the 30, which I will if I keep driving it for another four months, um, it's like 25 cents a mile. I don't know how many more miles I'll put on it in between then, but it's going to cost me more money if I just um, turn the car in. There's no new cars that I'm really excited about, no new electric cars that I'm excited about that I want to get. I mean, there's the ones I, I would trade this for, this uh, this is a 2020 Bolt. The ones I would trade this for are way out of budget, way way too expensive. I'm not going to spend that much money on it. Um, so you know, I'd like to get the Silverado, but that's not going to happen. So I'm not going to tell you what what I what I'm getting or what I'm looking at. I don't know if I'm going to get it yet. We have to see if all the numbers work out. So I'm going down to a Chevy dealer right now. See what kind of numbers they can do. I know they're not going to be able to get me the same monthly price that I'm paying on this lease. There's no way because I got such a good deal at the time. I mean, I did zero down, and they had it was like ten thousand dollars off and stuff like that. So it, I mean, I got a really good deal on the lease. But like I said, it's only three three year lease and thirty thousand miles. So going down the Chevy. Go see what uh, what they have, what they can do, and um, I'll let you know what happens. I'll I'll show you the car if, if I get the car, or if not, if I'm still with this thing, I'll, I'll I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, stay tuned. All right, here's the car. Well, that's the car I was looking at. Okay, well, here we are. Um, the second last drive in my 2020 Bolt. <clears throat> is uh, the red one. I tried not trading it in because I'm leasing the, leasing the car, but I'll say trade in. <clears throat> tried trading this in um, a little over a week ago. Um, at the same dealer to get something and the deal just I didn't feel like the deal was just right and there was some more stuff going on with my car and car um, I realized I might be able to get a $1,400 um, gift card if I take this thing in to get the recall so I previously I haven't taken it to get the recalls done because I don't want to be inconvenienced with going to the dealer and with all that stuff, which turned out it was, I mean, they didn't do anything to the car. I went in for the seatbelt recall and the battery recall. Um, well, I, can, I can't say they didn't do anything. They hooked it up to the computer and read the bat, did something on the battery, and it says it has, it has a bad battery, needs a battery replaced. So it took like three days for them to get me the car back. I mean, the, the first day they found out what the problem was. It took another two days for me to get the car back. It was just sitting there, nothing. Anyway, um, so they went and ordered a battery. They ordered that and ordered the seatbelt tensioners. So I'll, gonna, I would have to go back. I only have this car for three more months. I'm almost at 30,000. 700, 700 more miles, I'll hit 30,000. Then I, get, then I start getting charged 25 cents a mile. So, so my plan is I'm just going to turn this car into a, a, a Chevy dealer. Uh, to finish buying out the lease. I have three more months and then I have to pay the dis disposition fee because I'm not buying this car. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to buy another used Bolt. And it's going to cost me less money buy the used bolt than it would be to buy 
this car um, quite early or whatever I got to do um, because my residual is a lot higher than it's worth. Let's let's, let's see. It's uh, let's see the new the new <laughs> car. Well, it is it is newer than this one. Car will cost eight thousand less than buying this one I'm driving right now. If I were to buy this out. So, that's my plan. That's uh, what I'm going to do. And I'll show you the car when we get closer to it, when I get it. Um, I guess I, I already said it spilled it. I already said it was a bolt. But you don't know the color. or the. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep all that, that a secret. The color and the, the, um, the trim. So, anyway, stick around and, and check it out. Anyway, I'm going to talk about owning this car for almost three years. Uh, I leased this car in 2021. Three months later, I, I put new tires on it because I couldn't stand the tires, but that's that's a different thing. Uh, and I leased it because I wasn't sure, this is my first electric car, and I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, and charging it, and driving around, you know, was it going to suit my needs, was I going to be able to deal with it? Um, the answer is yes. And the answer is yes, because I have other vehicles, obviously, um, if I want to take a long trip. For a long trip, I don't even I don't even think about taking them all. I'll see how far it is. Like, I can't go to, to Orlando and back. So I know if I, go to, if I want to go to Orlando, um, I'm taking some other car. And I don't want to have to deal with trying to find a charger and all that. I mean, if it was easy, and I knew that there was a charger somewhere over in Orlando, I could just park it and charge it maybe I would do it but it's just easier to take another vehicle that has gas and I can just gas up wherever I am you know actually if I take my HHR I can make it there and back with, on, on a tank so I don't have to even fuel up uh, but besides that I mean usually I'm just running around local town you know and, Going to work is not, is not that far, and running the kids to school and running errands and stuff like that, or it's it's all close little, you know, it's not, it's not that far. I don't need, it's not, I don't feel the stress that I'm going to run out of uh, range. And, and what I like to do is I have a level two charger at the house, and I um plug in every time I get down to 100 when the gauge says 100 miles of range and then I plug it in and that's that's what I've been doing and it works it's been working fine this way I know I mean I'm not the next day am I gonna go 100 miles probably not but I'll have a full charge if I do and I can not, not, not charge for a couple days so anyway that's that's my routine with this and it works out fine um, I like the electric car I like how it's I mean, it, I'm not going to say it's fast, it's pretty, it's quick, tops out at 93, so you have that, cruising on uh, big roads, I don't know, not, I mean, it's, it just cruises, um, I was looking at the new Bolt 2023, and it has an adaptive cruise, but then I thought to myself, I'm like, well, that'd be cool to have, but then I thought to myself, I really don't take this on road trips or anything I don't even think I, I would take this on a road trip so it's just local I don't really use I wouldn't use adaptive cruise that much I mean only there's only a couple times I jump on the highway and when I jump on the highway I just see the battery get drained the whole time so on an adaptive cruise no, I don't I don't see it as that important for, for me I thought it was neat that I had it I was like oh that's cool but I don't, I don't think I need it really um, yeah, so it, it's it's pretty quick. The stock tires, I would suggest that you replace uh, as soon as you can. You might lose a little bit of range, but the stock tires, the, the compound must be really hard. Um, they're skinny, and from the reason why I, I changed mine out so soon, I like I said, I only had had it three months. I have new tires on it. 
just, they just the toys just kept spinning like all the time. If it was raining, forget about it. It was spinning all the time. I would, I would go to pull out in traffic, spin, spin, spin. Yes, it has traction control, but it, when you hit the gas, when you hit the pedal, and you expect to go, uh, and it just, just spin, spin, spin. That's not. That's not a good thing. Uh, I put some good, like um, all weather um, tires on here I, um, for the rain and stuff, and hit the gas and it just goes. I mean, very rarely does it does it spin. I can make it spin, but very rarely does it spin. I gotta really get on it now. So. Anyway, that's 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 that. Um, car held up pretty good. Uh, seats have a little bit of wear from the, the passenger seat from the kids beating it up. Uh, driver's seat seems fine. I mean, everybody complains they're not comfortable. I I mean, they're not. Doesn't feel like I'm sitting on a couch. There, it's it's okay. That's that's another thing. Long drive, it might the seats might get to you. Like I said, I just I don't drive very long distances, so I don't really worry about that. Um, what else? Everything. I mean, everything's held up really well in the car. I mean, I had kids in the back seat. I had to clean it a little bit, but besides that, I mean, it's normal. Yeah, I really, I really don't have complaints on it. Kind of like the way it looks. It's okay. The heat works really well if you want to use up a whole bunch of battery. Like right now, the heat just came on. It's a little cold. I don't know. It was like 50. I don't know. <clears throat> but the heat just kicked on, and I, the range did say like 170 a couple minutes ago. Now it's at 148. So what I drop like almost 30 miles by having just the heat on. So that's I think I mean I think companies are starting to work on the heat part of the cars a little better now. It's a 2020. I know Tesla has a heat pump. This basically has a heating strip and it heats up and it blows air over it. It's very inefficient. Um, but that's what they did in, in, in this year. I mean, it's inefficient and inexpensive, so that's why it's in the bolt. I'm assuming Tesla more, a little more expensive, and I, don't, I think they had heat strips until a little while ago. Anyway, so that's that's it on this on this car. I'll be turning it in with like 29, 400 maybe. So I didn't go my full 30. I wonder if they'll give me 25 cents a mile back. Did they do that? Probably not. So I was just, that's why I know I have three more months, but I'm going to hit another 700 miles. I'm going to hit 30,000. So I figured let's do something with it now so I don't, um, don't go over and then I would have to pay per mile. Still have to pay this business your fee. And then, okay, oh. So I'm going to turn this in. But I still have to complete the contract, so I have to pay three more months. And since I'm not buying the vehicle, I paid this business fee. So I could wait another. I mean, barely, I could drive other cars and barely drive this one and get my 700 miles out of it um, and, and complete out the lease. But I'm, I'm still paying the three months, and I still have to pay this business fee. So I have to do pay three months this business fee. Either way, if I wait or if I turn it in now. So the car, there's a car available that I that I like uh, right now. So I figure I'll do it now instead of trying to search for one later in three months. It just takes up so much of my time trying to get the car, work out a deal that I'm happy with. Like this car we're looking at, I already looked at it. I, Really, wasn't really comfortable with the deal and I thought they were asking a little bit too much so finally after negotiating this and that I got down to a price that I'm comfortable with all right well I did it 
We got the new car. This gives you a clue to the color. See in the mirror. Got an Oasis Blue. Um, difference is, I, it doesn't have uh, the two tone seats, which I'm fine with because the white got so dirty. Had, my old, old one had white here and it was kept getting dirty on there. So that's good. This car has 19,748,000 miles, um, has a new battery. What else? It's a different color. Everything else same. I, I plug, I plug my phone in. Boom! Starts working right away. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta change set, some settings and stuff like that. Redo the settings how I like it. But besides that, this thing drives well. Drives the same, except it has the bad tires on it, and that's another issue. I had a t bigger tire on the other bolt so I think I'm gonna get dinged for that I don't know how much it's gonna cost because I put different tire better tires on it actually so I don't know what, what that's gonna what tech what's gonna happen there I'll find out I have the original tires at home I have these wheels I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know if I'm going to bring the tires down, have the tire shop there, swatch, switch them out. I really don't want those old tires that are on there. Um, but if they're going to give me a hard time and, and make, me, make it cost me, cost me money, I'm, I'm going to have an issue. So, I don't know. I was told, the reason why I left the tires on, I was told, oh, it shouldn't be a problem. That's when I was buying a car, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now it's turned into, it could be a problem. Uh, the guy I dealt with it was at, at the Chevy dealer was nice um, until I asked if we could swap the wheels over, take these wheels off this bolt, put them on the other bolt. And he's like, I didn't agree to that. So I thought it was kind of uh, rude on his part. <laughs> so I, basically, you know, I, I mean, I, I told him, I go, well, when, when he said that, it kind of put me off a little bit. And I already bought this new car. So I told him, I go, all right, well, I can just return the car. I didn't leave with it yet. I'm still here. I can just turn. I just give back the car. Let's just cancel the deal. Then he turned around a little bit. And he's like, "Oh, let's see what we can do." So he's giving me like a, a little bit of time to figure out what I want to do with the, about the stupid tires. Um, the easiest thing is just bring these tires down and just swap them out and be done. I'll take my old wheels and put them on here. I mean, those, those other wheels were they're the same exact wheels. Or the other thing, I bring tires down. I bring t tires here. This place is like an hour away. I bring tires here. And I have them swap out the tires. And um, and do that. And I'll have the old tires. And I can put them on here if I want. But that's going to require me coming back down here with tires. Paying their shop to put the new tires on it. When I have a tire machine at the house. Or the other thing is, I, I come back, I get that car, drive it home, swap the tires, drive it back down. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Or I just, they come up and say it's going to cost this much and I'm going to just eat it. If they have to put these Michelin tires back on, it's going to be a fortune. And I don't know who's looking at bolts that want these tires on their car. These tires are horrible. They spin all the time. In the dry, in the rain, it's even more... It, it, they spend even more. I mean, it's 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 an, actually a danger in Florida in the rain to have the original tires on here. So I don't know. We'll, I'll see what happens. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm happy I got a new car. I don't have to worry about what to do with the old one anymore. Now I can move on to other things. So that's positive. Um, the car drives the exact same. It has less dents less scratches uh, the window tint I notice is that's window tint so that's a plus but it's a little bit lighter than what was in the other car I like it to be dark maybe I'll wait maybe come around summer 
switch out the, the tent. I don't know. See what happens. Um, but otherwise, I'm, I'm happy. It's got everything I, I, I wanted. All the little features and stuff like that. Um, and the color I wanted. Um, two people said they love the color. I'm sure I won't lose this car in the sea of grayscale cars out there. And uh, then, you know, red. I mean, at night, all the cars look the same color. Right? I mean, exaggerating a little bit, but this thing will stick out, and I'm going to be happy about that. Anyway, uh, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through with the video. And uh, I'm going to, I'll show you a little, I'll do a little walk around the car when I, when I get home and uh, show you it. All right. Take it easy. So this thing has some uh, stuff that mine didn't. I didn't have these Bolt EV floor mats. I did have the all weather mats though. And I didn't have this little sill plate here. That's an option. Uh, so here it is. Oh, and it has the black, the actual real black emblems, which, I mean, whatever, that's, that, I, I could have done that, right, on the other car. Or any other car I bought, but. The only thing I saw was, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, it's scuffed right here. I think they'll buff out though. Yeah, it looks like there's a little dent. Yeah, there's a little dent in the chip right there. I haven't, I haven't seen anything else. I mean, it, it's a used car. It's 20,000 miles on it. So it's a premium, just like my other one was. It's got the polished wheels, chrome door handle, roof rack. Nothing back here. It's got the charge cord. Pretty, actually pretty clean in here too. It's just a little smudge right there. Anyway, that's it. All right, so I plan on keeping this one for a while. This is the color I wanted when I was looking at them, but I, I didn't want to get the, this color because then I would want to keep it, and maybe I should have just did that because I wound up keeping it. I didn't know back then if I would like the electric car. You know, I'm talking about when I got the red one. It's almost three years ago. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video. So I'm still gonna be driving a Bolt. Uh, just pretty much just a different color. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna put tires on here. The tires are on there. As, as I've said before, are horrible. They're not. Any, I don't like them at all. Um, but that said, I'm gonna drive it. Maybe I'll wear these tires down. Drive for a little while. I mean, or at least right now it's winter, so maybe summertime I'll get new tires so I can drive in the rain without without it being too dangerous. Well, the saga continues. Heading back down to the dealer where I turned in my Red Bolt Elise and I'm picking the car back picking the car back up um, I had questions about the tires that I put on there get with these tires I asked when I was 
when I was turning the car in if the tires were matter. The salesperson, because I think they wanted to make a sale on the new car I bought, said, oh, that shouldn't matter. Then, now it turns out, they started talking around to people and it's going to matter if the tires are a different size, which they are, because I put a little bit wider tires on there because I wanted more performance out of the car and more contact patch than the skinny little tires that are on there. I mean, it only went up like one size, I think. Uh, and I wanted to get more traction, especially in the rain. So, there's a whole bunch of different things. Do I go down and swap tires out? Do I put the different other wheels on there? I don't know. Too, too many things. I'm just going to go get the car. I have three more months in the lease. Bring it home. Get a pre Change the tires. I'm going to change the tires with the original junk tires back on there. because the, I looked it up. And if they if they would say the lease when they go to inspect it, I, it needs the correct tires. They're $250 a tire. So that's thousand dollars for those cruddy tires to put back on there. I'm not doing that. So you get the car, put the original tires back on, get a pre-inspection done, make sure there's nothing else that will ding me. I have tinted windows. Are they gonna have a problem with that? I don't know. So then once I get the pre-inspection, um, if everything's good, I'll bring it to the dealer and the dealer that's local to me and just turn it in and say, here you go, goodbye. So that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Continue. The plan, let's see if that plan sticks and if that works. So I won't be having, I'll have two bolts at the house. My wife is gonna love it. It's gonna, she's gonna like having more cars at the house. We're trying to get rid of cars and just adding up more cars. Anyway. Stay tuned, Let's see what else is going on. The stock Michelin tires, 215, 50, 17s. Twenty twenty bolt, General G Max RS. Uh, 235, 45, 17s. So, with these tires, you can see it barely spins. And there's still tread on these. Wear a line. These tires are garbage. When I bought this, when I, when I got this car, it only took me three months to get rid of the tires because I couldn't stand them. So that's what's going to happen next. I'm taking these tires, putting them on here. All right. Well, thanks for sticking through on the video. Uh, that's the story. I, I'm in the, my new 2021 Bolt now. And I drove the uh, 2020 up to... I had like 29,900 and something miles. I kept driving it for, after I got after I got the new one, I just drove that one for a while until I hit, almost hit the mileage and turned it in. I wanted to get as close to 30 as possible to get the most for my money. So anyway, that took about, I don't know, a couple weeks, but that car is gone. And now I just have the one bolt and I'm happy. I, li I like this new one. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. And um, I plan on keeping it for a long time. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through to the end. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.